Hello and welcome back to Bug Snacks. Now let's continue. Alright, we did a lot of their questing. And Shelda kind of got annoyed with us because of all the challenges that she had to deal with. Okay. So. Go you're good. Use the want? string spice to capture one Chedob and one Milimochi. Then transform me with those specimens. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, hand Chittle to Chedor. Neat. Leg into Milimochi. Unbelievable. Ah, decently competent work. Unfortunately. Any remnants of the spice seem to have been digested, but this too yields interesting results. In their shrunken state, the bug snacks here are not fundamentally different from those on Snack Tooth proper. Hmm. Why do they grow I so am big? I'm still forming my hypotheses, but I presume the process is endemic to this island, and the spice was created to inhibit it. Are there any None side effects? None beyond the usual. <laughs> After all, Chandler ate a bunga royale as soon as we arrived. And he seems alive and well. You just wanted to wait till Chandler did that. <laughs> Said it this be will simple. be simple. I am merely exhausting every avenue of study. It's called being thorough. Look it up. Now, I've observed chocolates capable of maintaining a small size. This may present a more stable vessel for the spice. Regrettably, I must not eat it, delicious though it may be. So, bring one to my science trough, please. I brought it. <laughs> At last, a viable sample. Now I can extract the powder and finally put this mystery to rest. This requires my utmost concentration, and you ask far too many questions. You may return when I found my answer. I didn't say anything. Okay. I'm happy to chat with Chan Lo. Let's meet by the campfire. Okay, Doki. What's going on, Chan Lo? Trifony, you know about history and like ancient societies and stuff. Shelda said Snorpy's lost in a maze of delusion. But what if it's not a delusion? What if there really is a Grumpinati? Well, I've done some research on my own. And, uh, near as I can tell, there's no such thing. At least not in the way you see in the movies. There's no shadowy cabal secretly in control of the world. <laughs> Real conspiracies can happen. And heck, there was an old literary society called the Grumpinati. But aside from the name, it's not at all what Snorpy talks about. Are you sure? I mean, I've seen Snorpy's charts and... They kind of make sense. Kinda is the important word here, though. Look, there are points of data on that chart that are real, but it's all those strings between them that are made up. No, those are real. We got them from Gramble. Oh, Chandlo, that's not, uh, what I... Up, 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 let it go, my child. <laughs> the point is... Snorpy might be a talented engineer, <laughs> but he's no historian, and he's certainly not immune to bias, you know? Yeah, I guess you're right. I hope you're right. Thanks for talking to me, Trift Dog. No problem! And if you ever want to know more about failed conspiracies throughout history, you know where to find me! Oh, jeez. All right, what did you find? How's the analysis? It all. I do not need your distractions. I've obtained dried particles of plant slurry, but I have no way to analyze them. It's like living in the Stone Age out here. Perhaps if I had a particle separator, an electron microscope, and a degree in botany. Mm, bah, plants are not my area of expertise. We do know an herbalist. You cannot be serious. <laughs> I would sooner eat my bow tie than listen to a word of Shelda's advice. You just gave advice, so you should be afraid of. Afraid? I simply do not want to waste my valuable time being lectured on archaic moral dichotomies. 
You're out of, uh, what if she can <laughs> help? If Sheldon knows the secret of the shrink spice, I will eat my bow tie. Very well. Since you clearly won't stop pestering me about this, let us go see Shelda. One senses the reek of a foul presence. Now the other your way. hostilities, Shelda. I am here on business. I've been informed that you may possess a rudimentary understanding of phytochemical reactions, which I am in need of. <gasps> Strike the stars from the sky! The wicked one has come to me for guidance. <laughs> but surely one's ancient ways are far too primitive compared to the miracles of modern science. <laughs> I do not appreciate your sarcasm. If you do not wish to help me, then simply say so and be gone with you. One would never. It is one's path to offer guidance to all who seek it. No matter how undeserving they may be. Very well. Then I require an analysis of the shrink spice. Tell me what is in it and be quick about it. Please. Hmm. Ah, yes. A poultice made in the herbological traditions of the mother. <laughs> Though its purpose I cannot condone. If that is what you desire, then one will enter the olfactory realm to find the answers you seek. Waft, don't sniff. I know that. <sighs> ah, so many subtle aromas. Witch hazel, cinnamon, ah, black tea, each a natural remedy for inflammation. And among these astringents, <coughs> oil of vitriol. Oil of vitriol? That's sulfuric acid, a common but powerful desiccant. That certainly explains the burning sensation. <laughs> did you tell the journalist to throw acid at you? Well, this has been surprisingly not a waste of time. I am going to leave now. I may call on your services again. And you're welcome. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> That's actually a funny thing to, to hear about. Good riddance. <laughs> so, what are we going to do now? Oh, I feel like there's a huge weight on top of me, and it's not the kind I can lift. Snorpy never would have come to Snack Tooth if I didn't push him into it. All I do now is make him exercise and ignore all the stuff I don't understand. Sheldon's right. I don't know enough to really help him. And thinking I do is only making it worse. I'm gonna stay here. Until everybody's ready anyway. I need some time to just think. Nice. Hey, have you uh, decided to ask for help? We've all finished investigating. Oh, that's nice. Well, if that's the case, then I'm gonna go gather everybody up so we can share what we all learned. This might be a long meeting, so let me know if you've still got some business to do. Let's get Fantastic. started. Fantastic. All right, everybody, team meeting. Thanks for meeting everybody. It seems like we've all had an interesting time so far, ya? Yeah? Indeed. I must say I'm eager to see what grisly curiosities you found in your studies, Professor. Oh, ah, uh, I better not go first. I'm sure I'll just ramble on all night. <laughs> say, Chandlo, did you ever find a way to get bigger? Not physically, nah. But I did grow in, like, a metaphorical way. Sorry I couldn't help more with the science. Do not apologize, child. Knowing oneself is the most valuable kind of knowing. Hmm. Huh. And, Shilda, what did you find out about Mother Nature, A? Eh? With some <clears throat> additional insight, one has learned that bug snacks are indeed children of the mother. Yet, Toxins still, just as every fang dripping with venom, every flower glistening with poisonous sap. 
A reminder that nature can be very unkind. Grump, oh. yeah? Nature's hardcore! Ah, uh, like some. The ancients may have worshipped the mother, but her light was lost on them. The tooth remains broken, and one believes that this was not the work of the divine. The truth of its destruction and rebirth remains shrouded. That is so interesting. Oh, I swear, we've got to talk about history soon, Shelda. But first, let us discuss my findings. With some <clears throat> minor assistance, I was able to reproduce the newly discovered shrink spice. After some experimenting, I've learned that these big bug snacks are actually small by default. Something about the snack matter on this island causes them to enlarge. I believe I understand the how, but I've yet to discover the why. There is no why, Flupty. Things simply are. Using <laughs> my words against me. Invent your own <laughs> wisdom, you sagacious charlatan. I would, if you ever listened to anybody but yourself. Oh, please, let's not start. <laughs> <laughs> Was it happening now? Ha! You missed it, Drift Dog! Floofty and Shelda teamed up to brain slam this mystery! They. they have? Shocking, I know. The things I do for science. Yes, the path is ever winding. But one apologizes for the distraction, as it is time to feast on the fruits of the historian's knowledge. Now oh. you're in trouble. Well, hmm. I've certainly learned a lot, but there are still plenty of mysteries abound, and I think it's possible we'll find all the answers inside the temple. Unfortunately, there's a bit of a collapsed hallway there, and I've got no way to get through. I believe we may have a solution for that. My combined research with Shelda has produced something quite useful indeed. Oh, yeah! Floofty asked me to build Don't a- Don't ruin the surprise. Trust me, it will be very entertaining. Ooh, a more ominous sentence has never been uttered. <laughs> oh, that all sounds good to me. Let's head to the temple. You learned your lesson? Well, there it is. Think you can do something about this debris? No problem, Drift Dog. Floofty, let's get the thing ready. Of course, the thing. You, place your buggy ball on the ground in front of us. <laughs> Not the buggy ball. Good. Now turn around. And no peeking. We wouldn't want to ruin the surprise, would we? All right. I've got it out of the ball. <coughs> Slippery little thing. Keep it still or the needle will... Ow! What the grump is that stuff? You'll live... There we go. And... <laughs> Probably grew up uh, strappy. Whoa! Don't let go! Oh no you don't! Am I going to get in gotcha. trouble? <sighs> you may now turn around. Alright bro. Feast your eyes on the new and improved Big Buggy Ball! I wanted to call it the Engorged Strabiform or Bacular Encasement, but we can't always get what we want. With this much snack power, we can tear down that wall! Oh. Woo! We finally got a way in! Nice teamwork! Bye, Strabby! Problem sold. You are all very welcome. Oh yeah, big Strabby! <laughs> Center yourself, Chan Lo. This is not a creation to be celebrated, but to be feared. <laughs> yeah, you did do pretty good, huh? Ooh, I could ask a million questions about how that works. But first things first, let's poke around in these ruins. Big strawby. Wait a minute. Ah.
Uh, Grumpus is ready for ceremony. Uh, Meryl depicts a Grumpus being sacrificed to a great maw. Mother statue watches over the stat this. A great big hole in the center of the room, completely sealed. Ugh. Horn statue. This statue has been utterly destroyed. Was this the leader? Possible. This was a bad place. That's an understatement. <laughs> I told you that the Stone Grumps did ritual sacrifice, yeah? Well, this was the place. They'd throw Grumpuses down that pit, offering them up to whew, whatever's down there. Hmm. Is that why the bug snacks here get so big? Because the soil's been uniquely fertilized? Do we need Wambus? Uh oh. Hmm. This temple resembles nothing I've seen among the followers of Mother Nature. Its depraved purpose lies only in the worship of bug snacks. I found this machine thing buried here. Kinda reminds me of Snorpy's lunch pads. Indeed, yet large enough to launch something of significant size. In fact, it seems to be perfectly suited for the big monkey ball. I believe an experiment is in order. Mm-hmm. Get over there. Whoa! Sprout got locked in there! Uh, now what? Hmm. There seems to be a triggering mechanism on the back. It may require a jolt from the snack grappler to activate. All right. Uh oh. No, that can't be a good sign. What did you all do? The disturbance is emanating from the sealed pit. Ready uh -oh. yourselves. A grave danger approaches. Bros. I get the feeling I'm about to get dunked on again. <laughs> oh! King of the jungle rolls cheese orbs as an attack. Slid protects its cheesy back. Wait. Wait, I don't have my buggy! Take this! No! Probably one more. Uh oh. I don't have a small one. That works. Good timing. Oops, I didn't mean to catch you. I'll attack back for that. That it? Oh. Wait. 
What is my character made of? Make up your mind. Do it. I'm over here. Darn it. Interception. So I probably gotta do it when it's not eating stuff. Are you good? Can I? We're going to let you go ahead and Figures. <laughs> that it? Please tell me that's it. I can't move. Strawby! Oh, I gotta get you over here. One shrubby. Bye. No. Oh, perfect. Take this. Got him. Hey, Strabby, you got tenure. Are they dead? Bro, I better eat that thing before it bulks up again. Okay. You want to eat it? Here you go. Um, I'll give you the body. Actually, that looks pretty cool. Yeah. I don't know if it's the adrenaline talking.
But that's the best bug snack I've ever had! Whew. All right. Let's check if everybody's okay. They better be. Phew! Good to see we're all in one piece. That was the biggest snack I've ever seen. Nothing like a giant monster fight to get the blood pumping! <laughs> Speak for yourself. One is far too old for this. Agreed. But now that the danger is past, I'd like to revisit what precisely all of this means. You know, judging by the temple roof, the collapses, the crater... I mean, it's just a thought. But I think ages ago something big came out of that pit. Well, yeah. We just saw the Cheddar Portal come out of there. Ha! <laughs> If the Cheddar Bottle could be handled by one mediocre journalist, I doubt it could destroy an entire civilization. Yeah, I'm thinking much bigger and much nastier. Something we can hardly even imagine. The wrath of Mother Nature, or perhaps the wrath of those sacrificed. Amusing as this grisly history is, none of that explains why the island suddenly rose from the sea. Maybe it wanted to be found. Ah, uh, islands don't generally want things, Chantlo. Unless those lost and vengeful lie dormant still beneath our feet. You know, I think I've learned all I can for now. What say we call it quits today? For our own good. All yes, right, sure. sounds good to me. Okay, so do you want to come back to the raft with us or keep exploring? Uh, let's go to the raft. Wonderful. And on the way, I'll regale you with stories about other temple collapses. Oh, great. So everybody quest-wise is good, right? Turn back again. I'm sure I can come back just because they probably want me to catch some of these things again. It's like I wonder if uh, Gramble will want that legendary. He might want it. Okay, let's see. I am skeptical of the idea that Krampus' sacrifice is the true catalyst for snack gigantification. However, this is infeasible and, yes, unethical to test at the moment. Regrettably, I must leave with more questions than answers. However, rest assured that I am by no means finished researching this island. Oh, yeah. It seems like the more we learn about Snacktooth's history, the grimmer it gets. But that's the dark side of archaeology. Civilization never collapses in a nice way. On the yeah. bright side, we might have just discovered the historical basis for the myth of Grumplantus. Grandma Lotta Blog would have loved to see this. Oof, I'm gonna need new bones after this. And, <clears throat> but one finally understands the mother's will. Broken tooth is not a vision of the past, but of our future. And you better be ready for it. <laughs> oh, Grump. We've been gone so long. I'm gonna call Snorpy the second we get signal again. Partly because I miss him a lot, but also so he knows it's us. So he doesn't try to blow up the raft. Nah. All right, time to leave. Snorp dog! Chandler, my l <coughs> um, <laughs> you're in one piece, <laughs> and I mean, of course you are. I had the utmost faith in you. Oh, please! You were likely in tears the entire time. I was not. <laughs> Trithany, what in the world did you find out there? Oh gosh, that's a long story. I kind of want to get home to Wamby first, if you don't mind. But, uh, let's meet up in town, and I'll tell you the details over some snack waters, yeah? Yes, let's! Ah, and Shelda's alive and well? Yeah, my joints are killing me. <laughs> but sure, I, uh, uh, one must meditate 
with a tincture of willow and cloves. Uh, if you inform me of the recipe, I could find a way to augment the effects. Consider this an effort to be less deliberately antagonistic towards you. Uh, thanks, I guess. Floofties being helpful? Seriously, Chandler, what happened over there? Grumpinati mind control? I don't know. We're just finding ourselves out here, Snorp Dog. And, uh, speaking of that, Snorpy, I'm sorry for making you come to Snack Tooth. Oh, well, well that's all right. It may not be my favorite place, but, but I know you're just doing what you think is best. Yeah, that's the problem. Well, you sound like you've got something weighing on your mind. Yeah, I do. But I think it can wait. Let's just go home and chill, okay? Ah, ah well, well, I'm nothing if not chill. Thanks for everything, dog. We'll see you back at Snacksburg! Nice. And we got our way back. But, looking at it, at this giant thing. What if that was a. Uh, because they were saying about bigger. Uh, snack bug. What if it was like an arthropod or a mollusk, basically? Because then it'd just come up, get some fresh air, and then go back down. I mean. Sh yeah, but what if it's that, basically? It's something that wanted to come up. Alright, well, only one thing to do. And that's head back to, uh, Snacksburg. And open up my five mail. Whew! Stacking up over here. It's more things to do before talking to Philbo. Alright, what do you got? You found my way to... I'll try to control my muscles better so I don't eat anything else. Snorpy made me stop training in Snacksburg because I made so many holes in the roof. Okay. At last, Spagider has been purged. A most ancient foe to the mother's path. Bless you, child, for your devotion. Surely... The visions will now cease. My heartburn can't take much more at this point. Ooh. Oh, hey there. Just thought I'd thank you for helping out on Broken Tooth. You know, I can't help but think there's still secrets been buried there. And maybe it's on Snack Tooth, too. So always keep your eyes open. That shoes. <laughs> Buddy, I can't believe it. You caught every kind of bug snacks. There's gotta be a price for that or something. Hold on, I'll see what I can throw together. Grow golden strawberry and a certificate. Uh, how many of them X bug snacks? You have what you need to enter the very space. If you do not know the way, Grump Beard will show you. Oh, that must be with the key. So I need to figure that out. That's something to do. Bro, are you ready to challenge yourself? The bug snacks on Broken Tooth are the biggest, strongest ones I've seen. If you want to reach your peak, catch them all. Bro. Nice. Now there's no challenge you can't face. You're a master of your destiny, dog. Ooh, I got a quest that isn't from a normal person interesting secret ending or uh oh it doesn't even s well other than it doesn't show who it is it it shows it's complete but they said grump bird will show us the way okay well anyways for now we'll end things here if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye